All right, so in this edition of my video series where I yap about music, I'm going to discuss the Japanese noise rock band Zeni Jiva. So what makes a noise rock band? What sets them apart from other rock bands who are, you know, sometimes on the noisy side? Well, their music is more experimental than what would be considered traditionally rock music. That, that doesn't mean they're not rock music. It just means they emphasize the noisier aspects more. They're maybe even less musical, a person might say. Um, the group has a worldwide cult following and an extensive discography of releases including seven albums and eight EPs. Um, in 1992, Zeni Jiva released the albums Live in America and the collaborative All Right You Little Bastards live album. Great album title. Kind of worth checking out that album. E even, even if you don't care that much for the band or you don't know anything about them, you, you have to give credit for good album titles and good titles to things in general. So the sound of Zeni Jiva may at times bring to mind several prominent experimental musicians, including the more raucous moments from Sonic Youth members like Thurston Moore and Lee Ronaldo, and Zeni Jiva started out partly with contributions from other Japanese noise musicians, Merzbau and also Hana Tarashi. I might not have pronounced that correctly, but um, there you go anyway. That's how I understand to pronounce it. And Hana Tarashi is known for doing some crazy things during their live shows. Like, they apparently once had, like, a... I don't know if it was a steamroller or something. Like, some kind of construction vehicle. They crashed through into the venue or something like that. It's pretty crazy. I don't know if Zeni Jiva itself gets that wild, but, you know, they're, they still definitely have a wild sound. Mainstay members seem to be K.K. Null and Tatsuya Yoshida, but they've had a revolving door of collaborators, including people outside of Japan. My first experience with Zeni Jiva was hearing them on Weirdsville.com, which was a kick-ass internet radio station that unfortunately just isn't there anymore, at least not in the same way that it used to be. I think there were a few podcast episodes that they kept up on the website, but other than that, you can't really stream the songs as a radio station anymore, which is, I don't know, it almost brings a tear to my eye. If I sound a little bit sad when I'm talking right now, it's because it's because I can't go back and, you know, hit the, the weird player button and have all this strange music that pops up. So how weird was Weirdsville.com? Well, I successfully submitted some of my own stuff over there. And that means they're pretty weird because my stuff is also uh, quite strange. So anyway, uh, Zeni Jiva. Let's see here. I'm going to do a quick little search. Um, oh yeah, they formed in Tokyo in 1987. So they've been they've been going for quite a while. I don't really know offhand if they're particularly active these days, but I wouldn't be surprised if they were still kicking around. Well, anyway, I don't really have much more to say about them, um, especially when they're. It's not like they're the greatest band ever, but I I did just want to you know mention them, and uh, you have a good day, happy holidays, and if you're watching this video when it's no longer approaching Christmas or that time of year, well, just just treat it as if I'm wishing you a happy holidays, close to whatever holiday it is at the time you're seeing this. All right, have a holly jolly Christmas, mofo.